Today I want to show you how to replace a balance tube on the Marvin Next Generation 2.0. First we're going to start by unlocking the window. We're going to lift it up at least three or four inches. We're going to press the little button on the top and then we're going to move the slot this little extra way. That allows us to tilt the window to the inside. Never hold the window like this, or a sash as we call it, or never hold one down like this because the springs can spring up and cause all kinds of bad problems for you. Make sure it's completely flat, lift straight up, remove it, set it to the side. Now you can take the top window, move it down. There's a latch on the top here, latch on the top here, two hands, lay it completely flat, straight up, take it out, and set it to the side. Now that will expose all our hardware and I'll show you how to change that. Before we get started, we have to take these clutches and we have to release them to relieve all the tension off of the springs. We'll take a flat screwdriver and we're going to simulate the sash being tilted in or out. So we're going to make sure we put our hand on top of this and we're going to turn the screwdriver a quarter turn like this. Keep in mind this spring is under a lot of tension, so you have to hold on to it as it goes up. Okay, I'm going to first remove this plug. I'm going to remove the screw that the installer put in. Now I'm going to remove this piece by taking a pair of new nose pliers and just jiggling it out like that. Now I'm going to remove this wood piece by using our screwdriver behind it. Now if this window is painted, make sure you take a utility knife and run it along this edge so it can be removed. Just gently pull it out with consistent steady pressure and it comes out like that. So now that exposes the whole balance tube system here. Okay, first we're going to remove this from this clutch here. You can just use a pair of pliers and our clutch slides down like that. Okay, now it's time to remove the tube like that. So we take the tube out. Sometimes if you get a tube where this edge grabs in here, you can take one of my favorite tools and put it between, you get it undone. And there's a single screw at the top where you undo it. So just wiggle it off of there. Now, if this tube is broken, more than likely, if this thing launched, it would take and take this screw and bend it or break it. If that happens, go ahead and you can break this screw off. And since the new balance tube has a hole at the top, you can actually move it a little hole, or a little up there, a little higher, and put a regular screw through there to hold it to the face. So we got our new balance tube, and on the tube itself, it has a number stamped on it. And that tells us the information about this tube. So we can go ahead and order a new one just by that number and then specify that if it's for the top sash or the bottom sash. And we're gonna take this new tube and we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. All right, so now we're gonna take that clutch that slid all the way down and we're gonna slide it back up. And I'll move this weather stripping out of the way so we can kind of see what's going on here. So we can go ahead and turn this that quarter turn like that so it keeps it from sliding down. Now we can grip the new spring like this and push it in there like that so it holds and now when we turn this it goes up and down now and it's now engaged and we'll go ahead and push our weather stripping in there and put it back together before I go ahead and put that back together I want to show you also how to do, replace the top balance tube you would do the same thing where you would turn the clutch let it up, and then you can remove the weather stripping, and then you can take this cover off. Don't let the loud noises bother you. It's just the parts popping off. And that's what the top balance tube looks like. And it comes off in the same manner as the bottom balance too. So we'll go ahead and put everything back together and see how it operates. So go ahead and put this piece back in. Put our 
start stripping back in. Then put our wood piece back in. Make sure it's all the way up. Just pops on there. And then we put our center piece back in there. Put our screw back in here. Be sure not to over tighten it because if you over tighten that screw, you can bow the frame if there's no shims behind it. We're in the clutch and line these back up. And we have to be mindful that the distance from here to here is the same on both sides. Okay, we're ready to put the sashes back in. In the reverse order that we took them out, make sure the clad to the outside. Make sure it's completely flat and sealed in properly or set properly. Make sure it operates fine. Then we'll do the bottom sash. And of course we're being mindful to make sure that these pins are sitting on top of the clutches that we uh, adjusted down. Again, make sure the sash is flat. Make sure it's seated properly. All the way up. Pressing the little button in, moving that that way. Just like that, works great. Just like it came from the factory.